Hi folks, ZWO kindly sent me their ASI 678MC planetary camera to test out. It's one of the more affordable planetary color cameras in their newest range of planetary cameras. So I tested this camera on the Sun using my new solar setup where I paired my ASI 678MC with my new Daystar Quark Chromosphere and my 8480 APO Refractor Telescope. Now here are some raw and edited videos and images I was able to capture of the Sun using SharpCap. I was able to get a live view of this complex sunspot region and a couple of C-class flares using the ASI 678MC. I really like the fact that I could get a color image of the sun in real time, but for capturing and processing I used the mono feature of this camera and added color afterwards in Photoshop. I do have to note that this was one of my first attempts to capture and process the sun, so you should be able to match these pictures without too much hassle. Now moving on to planetary imaging, I paired my ASI 678MC with my Celestron Edge HD 8 inch at its native focal length of 2030mm to look at the planets and get some close up views of the moon. I was really happy with this one and a half hour time lapse video I was able to make where Jupiter's red spot was visible and moved across its surface. I processed 41 minute videos into pictures using auto staggered Registax and Photoshop. So if you're interested in tutorials on how to capture and process the planets, I have links to tutorials I've made in the video description below. I also made this wide field image of Jupiter and Saturn where the planets and some of its moons are visible in the picture. And I also took some close up images of the moon. So my first impressions are pretty positive. The ASI 678MC is the cheapest camera in the new ZWO range that incorporates the latest generation Sony sensor. This camera has little to no M-glow, it didn't show much noise in the pictures and with a quantum efficiency of 83% and a full well capacity of 11,270 electrons, it offers quite a bit of dynamic range for its price. It isn't the fastest camera at 47.5 frames per second at its maximum resolution, but you can turn the region of interest down to increase the FPS. At the time of this video, it is on sale for just under $300. For the absolute best planetary camera, you might want to go for a mono camera and invest in some good quality filters. But if you're okay with the pictures I've just shown you, then the ASI 678 may be good enough for you. I am actually thinking of buying and keeping this camera for myself. If you're interested in overview videos of planetary and deep sky astrophotography cameras from ZWO, I kindly refer you to my earlier videos in the description below. Well, that's all I have to show for you, so see you next time and I hope you have some clear skies.